For more than two decades ago, Nigeria's Ogoni people forced Shell Oil Company to cease drilling on their land, saying it was polluting the environment. Now, some Ogoni say it's time for the oil to flow once again. Chris Stein reports from Kagbara uh, Dere in Nigeria. Oil once flowed here in Ogoni land, as it does from wells throughout the creeks and swamps of Nigeria's Niger Delta region. But in 1993, the Ogoni people said enough. Leaking pipelines were polluting the fields they farmed and the waterways they fished. Oil giant Shell was forced to pull out of Ogoni land that year in the face of protests led by the charismatic Ken Sarawiwa, head of the movement for the survival of the Ogoni people, or Mosop. He was hanged two years later by the military dictatorship that ran Nigeria in a move widely seen as retaliation for his activism. Nearly 20 years after Sarawiwa's death, some Ogonis think they would be better off if production resumed. Donald Beresu is the high chief of the town of Kegbara Dere. It to generate some sort of employment. It to definitely engage our youth. And you know, if there is money, people can have access to good education. If there is money, people have access to good food. And if there is money, people have access to good shelter. In the years since Shell left, Ogoni land has remained polluted. A United Nations Environment Program report released in 2011 said it will take up to 30 years of cleanup to undo all the damage done by the decades of oil exploration. Many in the region feel the pollution issue needs to be addressed before Ogoni oil can flow once again. Young Kigbara is a former member of the Mosop leadership. It is a precondition for any company to come in, which means the federal government first and foremost and Shell ought to clean Ogoni properly before any oil resumption can take place. It is after that that any other company could come. Some say Shell alienated the Ogonis by developing the region only to suit the needs of its business. Roads were paved, but only to access Shell infrastructure. Resident Barakporo Amstel Monday says a new contract will make sure locals benefit from the extraction. We are not going to start a new beginning. Are you getting me? We are going to get a new beginning because we are going to negotiate. You give me what, and I will give you what. In the meantime, Ogoni Land's creeks remain blackened by crude, much as they were when anti-drilling activist Sara Wewa was alive. Chris Stein for VOA News, Kegbara Dere, Nigeria.